Hey guys, welcome back again. So in this video, let's see that how do we generate a SSL certificate for our development server. And then finally, we'll be seeing that how do we use that certificate to be used inside our application. So as you can see that I've created a new NPM project inside this folder that is node SSL server. And here I have only installed one dependency and that is the express dependency. And then I have a start script here that says nodemod app.js. And if you haven't installed nodemod globally on your system, then you can simply do npm install ng nodemod so that the application is restarted as soon as there are changes in the .js files. And if you look into the app.js file, we simply have a console.log statement. So firstly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to require a couple of modules here. So firstly, we'll require express. So const express equal to require express like this. And then we'll require the HTTPS module from Node.js framework. So we'll say const HTTPS equal to require HTTPS, this one here. And then we'll also require two other modules and that is the path module and the FS module. That is the file system module. So const path equal to a require path like this and then the file system module so const fs equal to require fs like this and now what we need to do we need to initialize our app that is the express application so const app equal to express like this and then we'll be having a single route here and that is the home route so app dot uh, let's use here that is for all the types of requests that is the get post put patch and lead and and whatever there is so app dot use and then we have a callback that takes in request response and next like this and now we can simply send back the response here so response dot send hello from ssl server like this so let's save this and finally what i'm going to do I'm going to do this that is app.listen and here we need to provide in the port and then the callback here. But here to use this HTTPS module we are not going to do it this way. So let me remove this line from here and here firstly we will create an SSL server. So what we will do we will say const SSL server equal to HTTPS dot create server and here it takes in a couple of options here and then the second argument would be the app here that is the express application like this and here in this options thing here we need to provide in properties here and that is the key of the certificate that is the SSL certificate and we'll be providing this in a moment and then finally we need to provide in the certificate itself and this again we'll be providing it in a minute. And finally, what we need to do, we need to simply say SSL server dot listen. And here we need to provide in the port number. So let's provide 3443. And then we have a callback here. So here we can simply say console log that are secure server. So secure server. So this rocket and this key secure server on port 3443 like this and now this application would not work because we need to provide in a key here and the certificate itself so for that let's open our terminal here so i'm using an inbuilt terminal inside vs code and we are in, inside this node ssl server directory so if we ls we have this these files here so firstly what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new directory so make the cert and you can name this directory whatever you like but I'm using cert here. So now let me cd into the cert here. So cd cert. And now the directory is empty. So let me increase the terminal size here and let me also clear it out. So this folder is empty. That is this cert directory. And now what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this open SSL module that is built inside Max. And if you want to install it on Linux or on Windows, then you can go to this website that is openssl.org and here and here you can find ways to install on the operating system you are using. So since I'm using Mac, so I have OpenSSL installed here. And if I, if I do OpenSSL here, then I'm here inside OpenSSL. But we do not want to use this 
nothing here so let me exit it out and let me clear it out again so now to generate a certificate that is an SSL certificate firstly we need to generate the key so what I'm going to do I'm going to write some commands so firstly what we'll do we'll generate a key so we'll do open SSL so gen RSA that is an RSA key not RDA but RSA and then we are going to output it inside the key.pem file so key.pem so now we see that our that our folder cert contains one file that is key.pem and if we look at here then this is the private key and now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a certificate signing request and since we are our own certificate authority so we can use that certificate signing request to generate our certificate so now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new certificate signing request so open SSL request new we need to create a new certificate signing request and then and for that we need to provide in the key and the key would be the key that we have just generated and the key name is key.pem and then we need to output the certificate signing request so we can use so let's say out csr.pem like this and now here it will ask us about some questions and it depends on you that what all information you need to provide here and at, and at least you need to provide in one information here so for the country name let me provide an in for the state or province let me provide simply so let me simply skip it by pressing enter then the locality so i'm again skipping it organization name so let's provide pick your page that's our organization and then we need to provide in the unit name so we can again skip it we need to provide in a common name let's again skip it and for the email address so let's provide the email address so yours truly 2607 at gmail.com and then we, it asks us for a challenge password so let's completely skip it so let's press enter here and now we see that we have this csr dot epm file but instead it should be pem file so let me rename this file here it should not be EPM it but it should be PEM so let me rename it here so it doesn't matter so let me rename it here so it is a csr.pem file and if we look at the contents of this file it says that it's a certificate request and from this certificate request we are going to generate our SSL certificate so now what we need to do we need to create a SSL certificate so for that we are going to again use OpenSSL. So OpenSSL. And then we need to provide in the standard here, and that is X509. And this X509 is a standard defining the format of the public key certificates. So that's what we are using. And then we need to request the certificate by passing in REQ. And then we need to provide in the days for which this certificate would be valid. So let's keep the days to be 365. And then we need to pass in the certificate signing request file. So hyphen n csr.pem. And then we need to also provide in the signing key. So what we can do, we can provide hyphen sign key. And then we can simply say key.pem because this is the key which we have generated. That is the private key. And then we need to provide in the file name where the certificate would be saved. So let's say hyphen out cert.pem. And this is the actual certificate which we are going to use inside our application. So now let's press enter. And we see that this certificate has been created. That is this certificate. That is cert.pem. And now we can use this certificate inside our application. And now what you can do, you can even delete this csr.pem file because we do not need it anymore. So let's remove this file that is csr.pem or let it be here. So let me close this file here. And now here inside our SSL server, we need to provide these files that is this key.pem and cert.pem inside this https.create server object here. That is this object here. So let me cd back into my node SSL server. And now here to provide those files that is key.pem and cert.pem, we can use the fs module that we imported initially. So we can simply say fs.readfilesync. And here I'm using the synchronous version because this information is vital to our application. That is, without these certificates, our application should not be started. 
So therefore I'm using read file sync, but otherwise inside any Node.js application, you should make sure that you should avoid using synchronous function, but, but for this I'm using it. And now we need to provide in the path of the key. So what we can do, we can use the path module that we imported initially. So path dot join. And here's the first argument we need to pass is the dir name that is the currently executing directory. And then we need to go inside the third directory and then the file name and the file name is key.pem. So key.pem like this. And now again for the certificate, what we can do, we can use the same thing here. So let's use it again. So fs dot read file sync. And then we need to provide in path dot join and then the dir name and then we need to go in the cert folder and then the file name is cert.pem like this. So now let's save this application and now let's start our application. So let me do npm start and we see that our secure server is on port 3443. So let's go to a browser here and let's try to open localhost port 3443 and we see that this page isn't working because we are currently on the HTTP version. So let's go to HTTPS localhost port 3443. So if we go here, then we see that we are getting this message back that is hello from SSL server. And right now you are getting this thing here that is not secure though we are using the certificate here. So if we click here, that is on this not secure icon here or this tab here. And if we click this here, that is the certificate. It says invalid, but the certificate is 100% valid. And it only shows that this certificate is not valid because you have generated a certificate, but not a known certificate authority has generated the certificate. So Chrome has certain certificate authorities that it trust, but it does not trust you as a certificate authority. So therefore it is saying not secure. But if we look here, we see that we have our certificate and it's a hundred percent valid SSL certificate, but you should typically use this certificate only in development purposes. And for a production application, you should be using a certificate that is generated by a certificate authority. And one of the best certificate authorities is the let's encrypt certificate authority because it provides you with three months of free SSL each time. And you can renew those uh, that certificate after every three months. So here, if we look at the contents of the certificate, then we can see that we have the country, the organization, the email address, and then we have the algorithm also, that is the public key algorithm. And then um, what all you need to have inside a SSL certificate. And if you, if you are not able to access the site on your local host port 3443, then what you need to do, you need to open another tab here and you need to open the Chrome flags here. So let's open Chrome flags here. So you can open Chrome flags here, like Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. So let's enter here and here you need to search for allow invalid certificates. So allow invalid certificates for resources loaded from localhost and here you need to enable it. So currently I have it enabled, but in your case, it is hundred percent chances that it is disabled. So if you are not able to access your site on localhost port 3443, then you can uh, go to Chrome flags and enable this thing here. That is allow invalid certificates for resources loaded from localhost. So this needs to be enabled. So guys, that's all about this video. So if you have liked the video do hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. And if you want, you can support me on the links given in the description below. So thank you. Bye bye. Tata. Take care and have a good day.